Hey guys, Jemmy God here, and today I'm going to be showing you the Jemmy animated Bumble the Abominable Snow Monster with Light Up Star. Of course, it's the 2007 version. Now I actually remember seeing this in person before, many years ago, back when it was in stores. One place that sold this guy and all the other 2007 Rudolph characters was CVS Pharmacy, not just Walmart. And uh, if it's not Rudolph that's the most popular character in the franchise, it's definitely this guy, absolutely. I mean, just take a look at how much, like, Bumble merchandise there is, including this. Like, seriously, I don't, this is probably just a personal preference thing or, or whatever, but uh, I really don't see the appeal behind giant fuzzy monsters like this guy. I guess that's just what kids like in this day and age. Who knows? Even the Elsa Gate videos seem to uh, hint that kind of imagery in their stuff every now and then. But for now, I digress. This is the first Rudolph character that needed some repair done to him. He had a split 8-tooth gear, which I replaced with a 10-tooth. Wasn't sure if it was going to work or not, but I decided to give it a shot, and it did work. But when I completely closed the gearbox, it wouldn't move. So I had to kind of loosen it up a little bit, and after I got it reassembled, um, one of the wheels, it was either on the left side, it started off with the left side. It somehow slid off the square shaft, because I think I may have open the gearbox up a little too wide because when the gearbox is open a little too wide then one of the square shaft wheel pieces that moves the arm up and down is gonna is bound to slide off it's inevitable so that's why you got to make sure it's not too loose not too tight just right yeah that yeah it's a procedure that definitely requires precision and lots of it but uh it started off with the uh it started off with this arm at first, and then when I tried it again, it's t it was this arm. So I, I had to go into this thing like three times just to get it to work properly, and here he sits. And also, um, the plastic piece for this arm was actually cracked at the top, so I glued it, put it back together, posed the arms down so it didn't look like the star was in his mouth, like he was trying to eat the star. And uh, yeah, finally got this thing fully working, although his mechanism is just a little noisy, um, it's not very smooth. It was when I first repaired it, and it was working temporarily. <laughs> but, uh, here he sits, fully working, at long last. He dances, the star lights up in his hands, and he doesn't really say any phrases. Um, let's just say it's abominable snow monster noises you're about to hear. So, uh, yeah. And he sings the song, A Holly Jolly Christmas. So, uh, let's get to this noise that you're about to hear. So here we go. Yeah, this thing works great. Now, right here's an up-close look at the details. And of all the versions of Bumble that were made, this is probably the uh, least scary of them all. There's actually an anime. there's a large animated Bumble, there's a large animated Rudolph, two versions of that, and a large animated Sam the Snowman that exist. And I'm probably going to tackle those maybe next year. Here's the tag. You all know what it says by now. Here's the tag, here's the back, all nice and white and fuzzy. Other side. Here's the bottom, Jemmy Industries Corp, made in China. Had to tuck in that uh, excess fabric back into the module so it actually looks and works exactly as it did back in 2007. Of course, with the new 10-tooth gear in there. All right, here he is in action again. Say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. 
And there you go, guys. That's the Jemmy animated Bumble the Abominable Snow Monster with the light up star. Thanks for watching.